We got a little nice shot of the moon going on here. I'm using a 25 millimeter no barlow. That's just too much. They're messing around with these uh, magnifications and the barlow is just too much when you're uh, you're going for the moon. I mean, I think you want to find a happy medium of uh, magnification and clarity. Of course, everyone wants it the biggest it can be and all that. But I'm just working with what I got here. And I think this is, you know, about the best I can do with what I got, which is a 25. I have a moon filter on there to take away a little bit of the brightness. And this is Labor Day weekend. And, uh, well, who knows, I might go live with this because I'm feeling pretty comfortable with it. So, anyways... We'll keep on bringing you stuff and have a great evening. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, cool shot of the moon. Alright, we got the moon. I haven't been really getting a lot of good. I thought this was kind of a strange shot because we've had fires. And uh, when I get the angle just right, you can kind of see the what the smoke does to my, my image. And, uh... I thought I would just capture a little bit of it because it kind of looks cool in a way. A little different, you know. Um, but this is a 25 millimeter and I'm just, I'm not running a barlow or anything. I do have a filter on for the, the brightness because it's a little early. The moon's out early, might as well get a shot of it. And uh, like I said, what's cool is you can when I move it, it changes a little bit. What's interesting to me is the color of what the, the fires are doing to my image. But I can still see pretty good detail in this video. So, pretty cool shot. Um, I'm waiting on parts for my telescope. Solo Mark is uh, promptly sending them to me. Had a little bit of a problem, but the moon's pretty easy to get, so we'll talk to you later.